Hey, my name is Ruth. Welcome to my channel and let's chat about before the coffee gets cold. Local legends say that you can time travel back at this cafe shop. The tagline of the book reads, if you could go back in time, who would you want to meet? Four visitors await their chance to do so. I think this is such a unique way to uh, write about uh, miss opportunities and show the different dynamics between uh, each of the characters relationship with their um, Someone important in their life um, In this book you read from four different perspectives and the Perspectives are divided or the chapters are divided by the specific topic. So for example, like chapter one is about um, lovers. Chapter two is about husband and wife, for example. And as you read each of the chapters, um, the characters, some of the characters that you meet in the chapters, they will reappear in other people's stories. So again, I like that continuity of the characters that you meet and how they play in each other's lives. Um, I um, I thought that uh, three of the stories, personally for me, I thought you didn't really need a time machine to go back to express your feelings or to mend relationships. I honestly thought they could have tried to fix it in the present time, but again, that's just my opinion. Uh, two of the stories though, they were almost a tearjerker for me. Um, and the, those chapters were called Husband and Wife and um, Mother and Child. So those were the two chapters that were almost a tearjerker for me. Um, this book, personally, um, very simple. Simple as in, you know, it's a quick read. There's not really too many complex stories or subplots that you need to keep track of because, you know, some books uh, they can get pretty crazy, but this one, no, it's very simple, um, easy to read. You can get the concepts. Um, some things that I think you need to consider if you were to pick up this book. Um, so this is a four book series and I do hope it's not going to be like the same formula because if it is, then I feel like the next following books, even though I haven't read it, I'm just saying, I feel like it might be boring or too predictable. So I'm hoping that won't be the case. I'll definitely report back once I finish the other books in the series. These books have already been out. I'm kind of late to the game. So I'm trying to stay away from written reviews and spoilers. So uh, once I read the books, I'll let you know my thoughts. The other thing that the book doesn't really address is the science behind the time traveling and why the rules are the way they are. Um, I mean, I get it, you know, and I'm okay with overlooking this little detail because yes, even though the time travel is the lure of this book, it isn't really the main thing of the book either. So I'm okay with like overlooking that fact. Um, but I do hope that they will hopefully address how the heck time travel is possible in the next following books. So I do hope they do address it. And then there's another thing that they don't address in the book. And again, I do hope that they address this in the later books. Um, I can't give you that specific thing of what it is because then it's going to give it away. But let's just say I do hope they will address it in the uh, next following books. So um, this is another quick read that I would recommend you check out. Uh, I do like the concept and I do hope that once you get a chance to read this, I do hope that we can learn something from these characters where um, maybe we don't procrastinate or don't wait on expressing our feelings or saying our peace to the people that are important to us. Thank you for joining my video here. Um, like always, please let me know your thoughts. If you like the book, if you didn't like the book, who was your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.